This here is the griddle stitch. So the griddle stitch is a combination of the simple stitch and a double stitch and they're worked opposite to each other. The best way that I can see this kind of stitch is called the crinkle stitch in crochet where there is a single crochet and then the next one is double and then back to single and then back to double. So this one is exactly kind of the same way but done in tunisian. So let me show you the tricks on being able to do that. So what you see here is the simple stitch and I just went across as a simple stitch and that's what I did in the very beginning over here. So whenever you're going to start this just do a simple stitch across and then the next time you're going to do your forward pass you're going to start your griddle. So the next one that you want to do is that we're going to start off with the next one here being a simple stitch. So just going in and wrap the hook and pull through. So there is your simple. You would agree with that. So the double stitch here is going to be the next one. So how to do the double stitch is that you're going to wrap the hook first and then you're gonna go into that one. You're going to yarn over, pull through and then pull through the two uh, loops that you see. So that's a double stitch. So you've now had a single and a double. Notice that the double has this kind of what appears to be a knot and that is what you're going to use as an eye of reference in the future. So if you can keep an eye on those you'll keep yourself organized. So that one was a double so the next one must be a single. So you just keep alternating back and forth uh, between the two stitches all the way across. So single and then that was a simple stitch and then you're going to go into the next one here as a double stitch. And then a simple stitch and then the next one is a double. And then the very final, well we still have uh, two more left, the next one is a simple and then the next last one here is a double. So you're going to just wrap the hook and you're gonna go into the side here and make sure that you get two strands on top. Just going in, pulling it through and still pull through the two because it's a double and then you're gonna be ready to go. So whenever you're doing the return pass going in this direction, okay, you are all already gonna do the same thing. It doesn't matter which uh, row that you're on you're always going to do the same thing. You're just going to chain one to begin and it's like a simple stitch return pass anyway. So it's chain one and then yarning over pull through two and two and keep on going all the way back to the other side. So I want to show you how to identify what is your stitch work in order to move up. So last time we started the first one here was a simple stitch and then it was a double. But do you see how this knot is here? Well if this one was a double you would see that there instead of here. So if you can identify what that looks like it gets it easier for you and you can see that it's double and double and double. It's every other one. So to begin the first one because this one is a simple we wanna change the one above it to be a double. So we have to chain one before we start because it's gonna be a double and you have to compensate for the height and then you wrap the hook and then come into the first one. Yarning over and then pull through two loops. Then the one after that is going to be a, sing a simple. I keep saying single but it's a simple. Okay and then the next one is gonna be a double. And you keep doing that all the way across. Okay, so this one is a simple and if you're ever unsure just look for that. It just appears like a knot underneath. Because I was thinking to myself how do you keep an eye on that? So if you can look for visuals like, like that it keeps you well organized. And so then the last one this time is a simple stitch. Last time it was double if you remember. So just going into the outside making sure you get the two strands on top pulling it through and then you're going to do your return pass. So it's always gonna be the same. So you're gonna chain one first and then you're going to pull through two, two, two and keep going all the way across. See? So then what are we gonna start with with the next? Can you see what you need to do? So you can see this here is a double. It's got the knot that's under here. So this is a double and this one here is a simple. So we know that next time we come into this one we must put a simple over top because this knot is here showing you that it's double. So to start the first one you don't chain one first because we're just gonna simple into that, that one. So if this was a double that you wanted to put in you would chain one. If not you just immediately start and just do a simple and then a double. 
and that's how you do the griddle stitch. So you're kind of just alternating back and forth between the two stitches. This is like the crinkle stitch in crochet. It's really quite easy and once you start being able to really uh, master this you can pretty whip along pretty cool and you have a, a neat texture looking item. So this is how you do the griddle stitch. So until next time I wanna thank my friend Della Wilkins the railway knitter. She is my Tunisian mentor and she's a really awesome person and that I hope that you get to enjoy some instruction with her in the future. So to do the return pass remember is chain up one and then pull through two, two, two and all the way back and then you're good to go and then you'll cast on a cast off as normal at the end of your project. So you can do really great scarves and etc. with a little bit of fancy stitch work in between. So till next time have a great one. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.